ومن أعرض عن ذكري فإن له معيشة ضنكا ونحشره يوم القيامة أعمى طيب يا مشايخ just quick reminder إن شاء الله tonight I just want to mention one of the beautiful hadith which is really uh, all the hadith of the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam they are beautiful there is no doubt on it because the wahi from Allah Subhanahu Wa Ta'ala وَمَا يَنْطِقُوا عَنِ الْهَوَىٰ إِنْ هُوَىٰ إِلَّا وَحْيٌ يُوحَىٰ This hadith what I'm going to mention tonight uh, is showing you the mercy of Allah Subhanahu Wa Ta'ala towards the believers and is giving us opportunity so we can be saved we can be saved from any evil or any adab which can harm us in the qabr. And uh, the reason I mention this, Ya Ikhwan, because the Salaf Salih, even the Prophet Sallam often was telling the Sahaba to re remind each other about that thing which will cut, will cut our our pleasures will cut off our pleasure and that is that that is the death that is the most difficult thing which uh, can happen of human being and that is the khuruj from to to leave this dunya and enter to the to the qabr to the grave that's what the prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam says al qabru awwal manazil al akhirah the qabr is the first stage of the Akhirah. The Sahaba, the Salaf al-Salih, when somebody was talking about the adab of the Qabr, or talking about the Qabr, his face was, was, was getting changed and he was in fear. Why? Um, if they was mentioned about the Akhirah, Jannah and Nar, they wasn't going, they, they wasn't, uh, you know, reflected or, 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 or touched by it the way how they was touched if somebody was mentioned there. The, the the qabr, the grave. Why? Because as uh, Uthman radiallahu anhu says, if somebody naja minha, if somebody is saved in qabr, then what's coming after will be much, much easier. So listen to this hadith, my brother, so you can ponder on it and, and to see because Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has given us a, a bodyguard, a security to be with us in in the qabr so the adab cannot touch touch us this hadith as we mentioned is uh, is narrated by abu huraira radiallahu anhu and you guys know abu huraira is the muhaddith of the sahab and the shaykh al-bani rahimahullah mentioned this hadith in sahih al targhib and this is a hadith sahih yaqul al nabi sallallahu alayhi wa sallam يؤتى الرجل في قبره فإذا أوتي من قبل رأسه دفعته التلاوة القرآن وإذا أوتي من قبل يديه دفعته الصدقة وإذا أوتي من قبل رجليه دفعته مشيه إلى المساجد سبحان الله This hadith my brother is telling us the amal الصالحة The righteous deed can be the reason for you and me to we have a security and a bodyguard to protect us from the from the adab al-qabr because Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala there is no doubt the qabr even though is a is a scary place but for the believers Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala for his mercy has given us a beautiful news as we're going to mention some of the hadith in the future inshallah which means the mu'min, after Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, will put that thabat, that, that, that thabat and the comfort in the grave, so he will be able to answer the question what's coming from the two malak, two angels, al-malakan, al-aswadani, al-azraqani, al-aswadan. And they will ask this question, man rabbuk, man nabiyuk, ma dinuk. And this is three questions was. Uh, Today, if you ask the youngest child, you will be able to answer who is your Lord and who is your messenger and what, what is your religion. But in, in the Qabr, the person, if he is not a true believer, 
he will not be able to answer this question because the answer of this question cannot be done with the tongue of this dunya what we have from the tongue with the flesh what we have from this dunya but he will be be able to answer with the tongue of the iman and the lowest person who is, doesn't know how to read and write he will be able to answer if he is from among the mu'minin and the highest person in education even if he has 10 phds he will not be able to answer these questions if he wasn't from the from the believers that's why allah says yuthabbitullahu alladhina amanu biqawli thabit fi alhayati dunya wa fi alakhirah allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will give steadfasting we give thabat we make them firm those who believe the believers huh? Bilqawl, which is the qawl fil hayat dunya he will mean he will be depart from this dunya and he will be able to give the the shahadat which is la ilaha illallah muhammad rasulullah and also fil akhirah which means when he sees the naim when he sees the bounties which allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will show him in the first stage which is in the qabr yufrash lahu fi qabrihi the qabr will be furnished from the furnish of the Jannah. And he will be dressed with a thiyab, with a clothes which came, garments came from the Jannah. And also the cover will be expanded to him, muddul basra, as long as his eye can see. And it will open doors and windows so he can see the na'im, the blessings which Allah has prepared for him in Jannah. He will see the anhar, the, 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 the rivers, he will see his castles in Jannah. And he will be enjoying the, the, the fragments and the smell of what's coming from the Jannah. This is the Naim the believer will have, which uh, even the highest king in this dunya will not be able to enjoy it and have it. This is only for the believer. So the Prophet wasallam telling us in this hadith, if you have to have, if you want to have the security in Qabr, then what you have to do? He said, when adab will come, will come to him min qibal ra'asihi, towards his head, then the tilawatul Qur'an, subhanallah, the tilawatul Qur'an will stand between him and the adab. He say, you will not be come towards, towards me, because this man, he was memorizing the book of Allah. This man, he was, uh, or this woman, was his mouth was motioned by reading the words of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And if the Uti Min Qibali Yadehi, if his Adab start coming towards his hands, the Fa'atu Sadaqa, the Sadaqa will stand be between him and the Adab. Why? Because he was giving the Sadaqa with his hands when he was still alive, for the sake of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, with sincerity, without showing off to the people. Wa the Uti Min Qibali Rijlehi, the Fa'atu Mashihu Il Al Masajid. And when the Adab come towards his feet, then the, 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 the footstep he was taking and walking to the message will prevent him, will become shield between him and the, and the adab. This is the amal al-saliha which believers should keep in his mind to be, so Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to give that, that comfort in, in the qabr. That's why Abu Huray radiallahu anhu, he mentioned some of the, in the similar to this hadith, but this is, came from Abu Huraira mawqufan, he says, إِذَا وُضِعَ الْمَيْتُ فِي قَبْرِهِ جَاءَتْ أَعْمَالُهُ الصَّالِحَةِ فَحْتَ وَشَتْهُ When the person will be put in a grave, Abu Huraya says, the good أَعْمَالُ الصَّالِحَةِ أَعْمَالُ الصَّالِحَةِ We know uh, is the أَعْمَال which is done for Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and أَعْمَال which is matching with the sunnah of Muhammad صلى الله عليه وسلم فَحْتَ وَشَتْهُ إِحْتَ وَشَتْهُ يعني this أَعْمَال will surround him as a bodyguard, as a shield of the protection. فَيْنَتَاهُ يعني when عذاب فَيْنَتَاهُ مِنْ قِبَلْ لِرَأْسِهِ جَاءَ قِرَاءَتُهُ لِلْقُرْآنِ When عذاب will come towards his head, then the قِرَاءَةُ الْقُرْآنِ will stand in front of him as a shield and protection. وَيْنَتَاهُ مِنْ قِبَلْ لِرِجْلَيْهِ And if he's come from towards his, his feet, جَاءَ قِيَامُهُ يعني للصلاة the Qiyam, which he was standing during the night when the people was asleep and praying to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, this Qiyam will stand between him and the Adab of the Qabr. وَيْنَتَاهُ مِنْ قِبَلْ يَدَيْهِ قَالَتْ الْيَدَانِ 
والله لقد كان يبسطني للصدقة والدعاء لا سبيل لكم عليه and when he will come to the adab towards the, his hands the hands will, will swear to us والله he was expanding us and giving with us a sadaqa and also making dua so there is no way you can came you can come to to him through through us when ja min qibla fihi and if he's trying to come towards his mouth then ja dhikruhu wa siyamuhu and he is the dhikr what he was remembering allah subhanahu wa ta'ala ala anna al-layl wa atraf al-nahar and also siyamu the fasting what he was doing they will become at the shield and and the protection that's why sufyan rahimahullah uh, thought he says will be this um, protection will come the amal salah for him just like somebody protecting his brother or protecting his family or protecting his kids how much we try to protect our family if any harm come to them that's the amal salah will come to him even the salah and sabr will become as a protection and they will say amma inni yani salah and sabr say amma inni لو رأيت خللا لكنت أنا صاحبه. If I see any gap, there is a between uh, you and the adab. That gap, the, the sabr and the salah, will will fill it or will take a place to protect you from the adab al qabr. That's why, my brothers, this hadith is telling us if you want to have the bodyguard and security في القبر from the adab, then uh, for you is to do the amal al-saliha and one of this amal al-saliha as you see the hadith and also the word of, of Abu Huraira the first thing is tilawatul Quran if this is only reciting the Quran so imagine memorizing the book of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala open our hearts and make us understand this beautiful hadith and apply it in our life and we ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to make us from those people who will be protected from the adab of the qabr. Hada wa sallallahu ala nabina Muhammad. Walhamdulillahi rabbil alameen.